Shall I warm? Shall I warm first and foremost? I want to give all the honors, the praises, and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior. His name is Yahweh by Sham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahabaka, Kwadash. Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahabashai, and who I reverence. And honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning. It's going to be a quickie, right? Because we need to remain consistent. We need to we need to keep our faith up regardless of what's going on, right? I want to start off on Peter's. Baba Kasha. Go straight to Peter's. All right. This is Peter's 4 and 4. First Peter's 4 and 4. For as, for as much as then as Mashek have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. Look what Yahabasha had to go through. Perfect. When he was perfect. And look how people were treating him. Right? So it says, arm ourselves like same with the same mind. For he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the good of the most high. So once we suffer in the flesh, once we put off the old man, now we're living to Yahweh Shai. For the time past of our life may suffice us to root the will of the Gentiles, the other nations. Right? When we walk in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, clubbing, banquetings, feasting, barbecues or whatever, and abominable idolatries, which goes into idols. In times past. Verse 4. Where when they think it's strange that you run not with them. They find it hella strange. We don't find it strange because we understand the truth. And we understand what wickedness is. It says they think it's strange that you run not with them. Right? To the same excess of riot speaking evil of you. So this is what happens. Be prepared for those you once knew. And to people that you were once all right with, to speak smack. Why? Because you're not running in same excess of riot with them. So therefore, they speak evil of you. How comes he doesn't want to party? How comes he doesn't want to do this? How comes he doesn't want to do that? He's weird. He's different. Let's persecute him. Get him. That flipping spirit. But little do they know, Yahweh is judging them. And I can't speak for all, all of the brothers. I can only speak for some. Yahweh is judging my enemies. Right? Right before my face. Right? And he could judge these people in a in a manner where they don't, they don't even see it. Right? He can judge them by their same actions. The same actions that they do. He can judge them by that. Right? Having their reprobate things. Have them saying reprobate things. So they think it's strange that you're not running in excess. Verse 5. We shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead. The quick, those that are quick into this truth. And the dead, those that don't know about this truth. We're spiritually dead. But they're both going to be judged. Those that have been quickened and those that are what? Dead to the truth. Spiritually dead. Right? Go to Luke 5. Actually, Luke 6. And 22, blessed are you when men shall hate you. Bro, you're blessed. Bro, you're in the right company. Right? And when you shall separate you from their company, that's the spirit. So when you're separated from the group, fr fraternity, whatever. Because people think they're tough, Mr. Macho Man in groups. But when they're by themselves, they're soggy, they're soft. Right? And shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil. For the son of man's sake. So this would happen. You'd be reproached. They cast out your name as evil. Excuse me. For the son of man's sake. It's for the son of man's sake. It's nothing to do with you. I keep saying that. I always say that. It has nothing to do with you. Right? It has everything to do. How they feel about themselves first and foremost. And Yehavashai. And Yehavashai is not here. Physically, so if they hate this word, who do they take it out on? You, because you have a shame here. But these were the same individuals that had that same mindset, right? 
Rejoicing that they and leap for joy. You're supposed to be happy. Behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. So you're in the right company. Don't think it's strange. Oh, but I'm a Christian. Uh, ain't suppo people supposed to love me? And No, no, no. No. We're going to shut up on this. All right. Real, real men. Real men stand for what they believe in. And real men have faith. Right. The definition of what a man is in Esau society. In this Western world. Ain't really a man. Oh, um, is he working? Is he working? Does he have a house? Bro, you got homeless people that are more manly than people that have houses, cars, everything. Because you can have that, but still, you lack character. You lack character. You lack integrity. You lack principles. And they're going to crush the economy anyway. So <laughs> say bye-bye to your jobs. Right? You may have been an IT worker. Right? You lost your IT. You're out of work. Oh, I'm a construction worker. Well, that's going to be out of work soon. Everybody's going to be out of work soon. You worried about that? You better worry about if you're white, right, with your house shy. Shut up on this public show. This is John 17 and 16. Ray are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. So the elect, they're not of this world. Right? So if they're not of this world, what does that mean? If someone tells you they're not of this world, you're going to think of, that's that sounds like an alien. It sounds like something that's intergalactic. We're not of this world. Because Yahweh was not of this world. He wasn't thinking on a carnal mindset. We're different. You better embrace that as well. We're not like you. That's why they say it, right? Yeah, it ain't like you. Yeah, the, the elect are not like you. They refer they refer to us as it because remember they speak in codes. These masons, right? Yeah, it's, it's it is not like you, right? Like Yahusha said, I am from above. You are from below. You want to stay in that low carnal vibration. You stay in that vibration until Yahusha destroys your ass. So with this, I hope this was edifying. Until the next time, shalom.